What's up guys? It's Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together and today we are in my closet and I just wanted to show you a couple techniques that I use to keep this closet as organized and also as functional as possible. Now there are some techniques that I use that you know you've probably seen before but I also have a couple techniques up my sleeve that you've probably never seen before. So stick around and I'm going to show you what I do. I'm Marissa. I'm a borderline crazy dog mom, a landlord, a DIYer, an interior design obsessed pop culture enthusiast, a real estate entrepreneur, and I'm simultaneously managing a long distance relationship while working full time. I'm the kind of woman who doesn't have the patience to get through this recording. So let's get into it. This is Barely Keeping It Together. Okay, now, first of all, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that I realize I am very lucky and spoiled with this closet and I have a lot of room to grow. And I know not everybody or actually most people out there do not have a closet this large with this much extra space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the techniques that I use. And honestly, they can be used in any size space that you have. So first of all, I know a lot of people hang their clothes in Roy G. Biv, which is rainbow order, which is also something that I do. But something a little bit unique about the way that I do the Roy G. Biv is up here, I have casual t-shirts and tank tops. Down here, I have my casual sweatshirts in rainbow order. And then I separate it. I have more formal blouses up here. And then I have my sweaters down here in terms of, again, Roy G. Biv. And then I have jackets here, meaning like work jackets, that kind of thing. And then I have my jeans and other pants here. So I don't just put everything together in that Roy G. Biv rainbow order. I separate it by the type of item. And personally, I sort of see things as like formal and informal and then warm and cold, right? So formal, lightweight things, informal, lightweight things, formal, heavyweight things, and informal, heavyweight things, if that makes sense. So that's how I organize the closet. Then... Over here is my long hang. So I have, again, in Roy G. Biv order, I have all of my long hang items from dresses to jumpsuits. And then your girl loves it overall and she loves her paint clothes. So don't get me wrong, you know I have, you know these puppies are in here. And then these, so good. The Carhartt overalls are everything, you guys, they give me life. And that's my Miss Italian B shirt to you. <laughs> Oh gosh, now I'm making a mess, but I love this. Shirt. Okay, we're on the ground. Now, why are we on the ground? I wanted to show you guys my hampers. So I have three hampers that are all from Target and they all look like this. And they're in a row right here in the entry of my closet. I suggest that everyone do this and I have them separated. These are my whites, my colors and my blacks. Now, you know your girl is like quite literally always wearing black. So the black one obviously fills up the fastest, but um, the reason that I have these is it makes it super easy for when I'm doing laundry. Now, I don't recommend those hampers that are like one big thing with the three separate areas because then you have to bring it back and forth to your laundry room, etc. Whereas this, I can just grab this, run to the laundry room with this, and then leave the other ones here if I'm only doing one load of laundry at a time. Now, I love these. I think they're, you know, very aesthetically minimal. You don't really look at them. They're lightweight and they were super inexpensive. I got these from Target. I want to say they're like $12.99. I'll link them below if you guys are interested in these, but I quite literally searched high and low for hampers and these were my favorite from Target. And then I just leave these three in the entry. So I highly recommend that you guys sort your laundry in this way. It just makes life so much easier in terms of doing your laundry. Now that we're on the floor, let's stay on the floor because I have a couple other things that I wanted to show you. Two more baskets I also got at Target. Now I think these are a little overpriced to be honest, but I wanted them to match the hampers. These were $25 each. I don't know, I still really can't justify that price. It seemed really expensive. But I have two bins on the floor of my closet. The first bin is where I throw all of like my slippers and like shoes that I throw on in the house, right? So I have my heels and sneakers and everything organized on shoe racks as you would expect, but slippers and just like throw around shoes kind of go in here and it just makes life so much easier because I know where they are and I don't really have to waste a lot of energy putting them away. Now in terms of wasting energy, putting things away and taking them out, you guys know me, I'm lazy. Your girl loves sweatpants, lives in sweatpants, is constantly wearing pajamas and sweatpants. Like 
I mean, I don't think I need to get more into it other than like, I wear a lot of sweatpants, but I organize my sweatpants in another bin like this because I found that folding them and putting them away in a dresser, one was super time consuming and two, I have so many sweatpants and pajamas that they wouldn't just fit in one drawer in there. And I actually, I think this is a good small space hack because when I was in my last place, I had a tiny closet. I don't know if I showed you guys ever, but it was like those Ikea closets that we actually built in um, to the basement and they were super small. And I actually started this idea there where I took all my pajamas and I put them in a big basket like this and it ended up saving time, saving space and saving energy. So just in terms of staying organized, knowing where all my pajamas are and then they don't have to be stuffed into a dresser. So this is where all my sweatpants are. And I again, I put these under my long hang next to the basket of all my slippers and that sort of stuff. So those are just two small hacks that I have for the floor of my closet and it just makes it so accessible on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is definitely not the prettiest part of my organization system, but honestly it could potentially be the most functional and one of the biggest hacks I wanna share with you guys. So I had this leftover from an old apartment and it's not my style, it's very farmhouse. Like it feels like my walls would say live, laugh, love. You know, it's not for me but in however it's functional so what i did is i hung in in my closet and the things that are hanging on here are things that need to be hung up i'm the type of girl who's like okay if i'm done with this i'm gonna like take this sweater off might throw on a sweatshirt or i might like i don't know i might wear a pair of leggings for like 20 minutes and then need to run to the store in jeans or vice versa like have sweatpants on you know things are changing and throughout the day so what I did is I hung this here and this is where I throw things that need to be hung up and they're not dirty yet, but like I don't have the time to hang them right this second. So what this hack allows me to do is have an organized closet where everything is hung properly when it's its time, but I know when this fills up, it's time for your girl to get her life in order and start hanging up all the things that she needs to hang because she's gotten a little lazy for a few days. So this is sort of like my interim hanging space so I don't have a pile of clothes in my bedroom. You know, a lot of people have that pile of clothes in their bedroom, like on a chair or something like this. This is how you eliminate that. So you can do it in a closet, you can do it next to a closet. I just think that this is such a good hack in terms of that interim hanging space. It tells you when you need to get your life in order and it doesn't look too messy in the meantime. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys because your girl always keeps it real. So, you know, I'm barely keeping it together, right? It's just like, I have it together, but like the bins aren't all matching the way they should be. So I have these Ikea bins that I'm gonna switch everything over to now that I am in this house. So they are eventually actually all gonna be matching, but using this upper closet storage for extra things. So. I think this is the perfect example. You guys know, I've told you a million times, my boyfriend is Nigerian. I have a ton of Nigerian natives, which are absolutely stunning, gorgeous, but they take up a lot of space. And you know, I'm not in a Nigerian native outfit on the day-to-day -day basis. So those go in this storage bin up at the top. I have them all organized and together and I know where they are. Now, don't get me wrong. It would be prettier when they're all in my Ikea matching bins and then I can label them. Ooh, I'll show you guys after I do that. It's gonna be so Good. Do you guys have all the matching bins in your closet? If you do, let me know below. <sighs> Inspo. I really need to do that. I promise I'm going to get it together one of these days, but I wanted to show you guys my hacks even before I have it together. I have some systems in place and I thought you guys should know. No? Yes? All right. So anyway, so use all these bins for extra things like that. So I have some are clutches and, pur pur clutches and purses. Some are my Nigerian natives. I have belts over here. So all those sort of extra things that you don't know where to put, I put them up at the top. Now, this isn't necessarily a closet hack, but this is actually, I figured you guys probably saw this behind me. This is the to-do list, sort of like the bucket list of everything we actually have to do to this house. And it gives me a place to keep it handy and look at it, but it's not sort of in my face and ugly. If you guys know, I like things to look pretty, right? So this list doesn't look so pretty. So I have it in here so I can come check it and make sure, you know, we're on track or what are the next projects that we have sort of on the bucket list to do at the house. I'm also actually in the process of making my 2021 vision board that I can't wait to share with you. And I will hang that in here as well because one, I'll see it every single day as I get ready. And then two, it's not going to, you know, interfere with my French boudoir. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming to hang out in my closet with me. I hope that some of the techniques that I gave you are helpful and useful. 
if you guys enjoyed the techniques, leave me a comment down below of what was your favorite. I would also love to hear if you guys have any hacks to make this space look better for me. You know, your girl is always working on it. Anyway, I also want to laugh a little bit because I originally was going to have barely keeping it together actually be a podcast. And when it was in its or origination stage, it was going to be called Guests in My Closet. So I guess this is a full circle moment because you guys are now guests in my closet here. So thank you guys for sticking around. I love sharing with you guys and I love chatting with you. Go over to my Instagram and follow me at Barely Keeping It Together or check out my website where I have all sorts of fun things and printables at barelykeepingittogether.com. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!